So you just finished your first piece of furniture. Bravo, bravo. And you're wondering exactly how much you should price it for and how to exactly post your piece of furniture online. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it, taking the pictures. I also like to stage my pieces and how I figure out sort of what price range to price my pieces at. So hopefully this video is encouraging and informational to you. If it is, please give the video a thumbs up. A lot of time and effort goes into making these videos and subscribe for a new furniture video every Sunday at 7 p.m. Let's get into it. So once I'm all finished with redoing my piece of furniture, what I personally do, I take my piece of furniture, I clean it all off, and then I take it down to the basement and put it up against this bigger white walled area that we have here. If you don't have a basement, a couple ideas for you for when you're staging your pieces of furniture. If you have a garage door, you can kind of clean out a little area around there and put your piece of furniture by that. So then it creates more of a clean and simple background and people will be able to easily focus on your piece of furniture. Another thing you can do is place your piece of furniture out in the yard and maybe put it on a rug or a tarp. The idea is just to have a clutterless photo, make it really easy for people to sort of visualize this piece of furniture in their space. So once you have your piece of furniture in your desired area for taking your photos, what I always like to do is come over here to the Slay Art Refinishing Studio area. I have some props that I like to put on the dresser or whatever the piece of furniture may be. Usually I have a couple more, but these are just the spare items that we have laying around in the basement here. So got a little fake plant here. Nice, nice little, nice little thing going on here. <laughs> got a clock. Then we have some old books. So I'll show you what I usually do. I am not an interior designer by any means. I try to make it look as best and like as homey as I can. After I'm finished taking all my photos, I take the pictures and I upload them to an app called Photo Room. I don't always do this, but sometimes I like to blur out the backgrounds or slightly edit the photos to make them appear a little bit more clean and simple looking. Again, you don't have to do this. I really love this app, especially because it's free. It's so awesome. You can also outline the furniture pieces if you wanted to do something like that or change the color of the background definitely check out this app it's available on the apple app store i'm not sure about android but give it a search and see if it's on there if you do have an android i'm gonna wrap up the video right here i don't want to make it too long if you tune into next week's video i'll be posting this dresser up on facebook marketplace and i'll be discussing how i am going to type out my description and what i'm going to list the piece for if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Hopefully, we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Have a great day.